This is Christine Brazad for Best Buy Canada, and today I'm going to talk to you about the DeLonghi Magnifica Evo Automatic Espresso Machine with Milk Frother. So before I get into this specific machine, I have a question for you. How much money do you spend on coffee every week, every month, every year? So when you consider that, uh, you know, heading to work, you might stop through a drive through and uh, grab a latte to go. You might stop in the local coffee shop while you're in the office. It might not seem like a lot of money, but it adds up over time. So having a good having uh, having the op option to make coffee at home is definitely uh, worthwhile. Having the option to make good coffee at home is where the difference lies. Um, I figured that out after reviewing this machine. So I'll preface this with with noting that I'm the type of person that gets up in the morning and I just make a quick cup of coffee just to have a coffee to have with my breakfast and while I get to work. I didn't really think much of it. It was just you know I want to have a coffee. Um, you know, I've had a lot of friends and family members tell me that their machines, their espresso machines or whatever fancier options they use at home make a huge difference and it's amazing coffee and I thought, well, you know, that's more of a treat for me. When I go out, then I'll get a really nice cappuccino. After having this machine uh, to review for the past few weeks, it completely changed my mind. Uh, having a really good coffee in the morning makes a lot of difference in your day and being able to do that at home will eventually save you money in the long run uh, when you factor in, uh, you know, especially if you get a lot of coffee as you go out um, in the mornings, etc. So uh, in terms of this machine, it is quite a large machine. So I usually have a, uh, a carafe and a pod uh, dual machine in my kitchen. It takes up about the same amount of room. Uh, so it is a little bit deep and it is quite wide. Uh, you will need significant counter space for it, uh, but it does look really sleek and elegant, so it'll be a nice showpiece in the kitchen um, for sure. Uh, and it does a lot. So it has uh, the ability to make seven different coffee drinks. So that includes cappuccinos, espresso, latte macchiato, iced coffee, and then there's a personalized latte setting for your own personal uh, mix uh, preference. Um, it can also do regular coffee, of course, and then uh, hot water if you want to make hot chocolate or you want to use that for uh, recipes that require hot water, soups, etc. Uh, so the machine actually has its own built-in grinder, so you can grind fresh coffee beans right in the machine. Uh, it has 13 grind settings, so you can adjust the, uh, the, the fineness of the grind, and it extracts the, the flavor from these coffee beans using its conical burr grinder. So uh, it also does accept uh, coffee grounds. So there's two separate compartments on the top. One is where you put the beans, one is where you put the grounds. So you can choose whichever and it will know what you've chosen and uh, use the proper setting accordingly. Uh, what's a, a game changer for this unit, in my opinion, is the uh, included milk frother. So it clicks onto the side and it's got markings on it, on the sides of the, uh, the container for different drinks uh, like cappuccinos, lattes, so you know exactly how much milk to put, or milk alternative, which I love because I cannot drink milk, so I use oat milk. Um, so you add that, you click it onto the machine, you put your cup, you put your beans or your grounds, you press one button, and you're off to the races. The machine uh, works its magic. So it, uh, it um, heats up and then it uh, expels the froth frothed milk um, or milk alternative product into the cup, after which you will get the uh, the all the delicious coffee uh, extracted uh, juices uh, mixed with, of course, the water from the water tank that's on the side of the machine. And you've got a beautifully frothed drink. So it might be a cappuccino, a latte, whatever your taste. Now, speaking of the water tank, um, it does have a carbon active filter if you do live somewhere where there's hard water. If you don't feel you need it, I don't live anywhere where there's hard water, so I didn't install it myself, but it is very simple to just uh, click into place and uh, use that within the water tank if, if needed. Um, so uh, before I go on, I'll just give you a demo of what the machine sounds like. It is somewhat loud uh, when it does a brew, but it's no louder or quieter than any other typical coffee machine you might come across. Um, but just bear in mind uh, how it sounds once a brew is going. So uh, here's a quick demo for you to take a look at and listen to.
along with the parts, uh, the machine also comes with a cleaning brush, a descaler, a measuring scoop, uh, an instruction manual, and a quick start guide. Uh, now being new to the whole espresso machine at home uh, experience, uh, I found the process a little daunting to get started. The instruction guide um, was a bit confusing for me. I had to go back and forth from one page to another or from the instruction guide to the quick start manual to figure out what went where and uh, you know what a, a red flashing light meant or how to do something. Um, so uh, you might, uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve to figure it out, especially if this is your, the first machine you're getting of this kind. But the good thing is that the machine comes pretty well pre-assembled, so there's just the few parts that you need to rinse out and clean and then insert into place, um, and it's pretty much simple from there. Um, now before you run uh, the machine to actually make some coffee or cappuccino or, or other coffee-based drink, you do need to run about four cycles just to let the machine warm up and get uh, cleaned out, etc. Uh, so with that process and then my little learning curve, it probably took me a good hour before I was ready to make my first cup. Uh, but when I did, that's when it blew me away. So uh, again, all you do is add the, the milk or milk alternative if you're making something like a cappuccino, which I did, uh, to the milk frother, click it into place. Uh, you'll hear it click so you know it's in properly. Add some beans. Uh, the instruction manual didn't really advise how many beans you should add, or, so I just did two scoops and that seems to work for me. Uh, you can adjust the brew strength. There's three buttons on the top that allow you to do that, as well as, like I said, the grind setting. So uh, those are probably features you get into more as you get more familiar with the machine, but I just wanted to start out with the default and where everything was. Uh, once you do that, uh, you uh, just pop your cup underneath and you press the button for the drink that you want and then you wait. Um, it's probably about 30, uh, 30 seconds, uh, maybe up to 45 depending uh, on the drink uh, for your fully free drink to be fully done. But uh, you know, by the time you put away all of your coffee beans in the pantry and your milk in the fridge, your coffee's ready for you. Um, there are uh, parts that are removable and dishwasher safe, which is great. Uh, the container that holds the uh, excess grounds from coffee grounds as well as from your um, coffee beans is really neat because when you pull it out, you'll see that the coffee comes out in little little pucks that are compressed together, which is a really cool uh, way to just easily pop those into your organic garbage uh, organic garbage bin and then rinse out the machine and the cleanup is super simple and, uh, and super easy. Um, so one thing that I think is important to note about this machine is that it actually automatically cleans itself every time it turns on and every time you turn off. So because of that, you should put a cup underneath the spouts uh, anytime you turn it on because there will be some water that comes out and again once you turn it off. Um, there are a few times where we forgot to turn the machine off after using it and kind of had to run to the kitchen with a cup because we heard the machine about to go on and knew the water was going to come out. Now, you don't need to worry because if it does come out and there's no cup there, there's a pretty large drip tray underneath that will capture all of the uh, excess water and then you can just dump that into the sink. So you won't end up with a big mess in the kitchen, but it's just something worth noting that this does happen. So you don't put your cup ready for a coffee, turn on the machine, and then you're just gonna get some water before anything even happens. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, now, one other feature I like about this machine, aside from how easy it is to use, is that you can press and hold any one of the buttons uh, for the drink of your choice, and it will flash, and then as the coffee is coming out, you press it again when it gets to the desired uh, amount, and it will program that amount into the memory, so that the next time you want that drink, you'll get the, the, the actual size that you want. So I noticed the first time I made a cappuccino, for example, and these are my uh, coffee mugs, I only got about half uh, to three quarter of this mug filled. Um, this is a larger than usual mug granted. Um, so I was able to press the button, hold it and tell it this is the size of my cup. And the next time I make, make cappuccino, it rem remembered that and I got the right amount that I wanted. Um, so in terms of taste, the coffee is absolutely delicious. I mean, this will obviously depend on personal tastes, on what grounds you get and what quality beans. Um, but in terms of using, you know, basic, uh, basic bag of, of coffee beans you can get in the grocery store, uh, some oat milk, and um, we even got adventurous and got some flavoring syrups uh, to try out, um, you know, caramel coffees and things like that. And it was, it was amazing. We 
ha just absolutely loved uh, loved having the machine. So um, I would usually have a cappuccino in the morning. I would make myself just a regular black coffee in the afternoon, and then occasionally we'd have an espresso with dessert at dinner. Uh, my husband did uh, coffees for the morning, or lattes rather, and he used homogenized milk and the process was the same and the result was uh, just as good with homogenized milk versus oat milk um, and other milk alternatives. Uh, so I can, uh, I can confidently say this machine is a wonderful machine. Um, as my review period wrapped up, my husband started researching and calculating the costs of what he spends on coffee and, and is trying to convince me that we need to buy um, a machine like this for for, uh, for the house, um, which uh, we probably will end up doing because we realize not only the long-term cost savings, but also the quality of coffee is so much better. It's a much more enjoyable experience when I'm having a cup of cappuccino I made at home with my breakfast versus you know a basic cup of black coffee uh, with no, no frills, um, especially when you can justify the cost based on what you might spend on other, uh, other ingredients. So that is the DeLonghi Magnifica Evo automatic espresso machine with milk frother. Uh, you can read more of my review and my experience uh, with it on the Best Buy blog. Uh, you'll see some more pictures and, and some more details about how my experience went using this machine. Um, and you may find that uh, for, for your needs and your family's needs that um, the machine actually justifies the price because it uh, You'll, you'll get really great coffee rather than going to the local coffee shop and uh, spending your hard-earned money there, you can do it at home and, uh, and have just as good quality of product. So that's, uh, that's thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, and uh, again, visit the Best Buy blog for more. Thanks so much.